to the world. Subscribe now to the Hot 97 YouTube channel. It's Ebro in the Morning with Laura Stiles and Rosenberg. Rosenberg, uh, feeling some type of way about the Travis Scott McDonald's commercial. I don't love it. Don't I'm love not. It. I'm not loving it. <laughs> I'm not loving it. <laughs> uh, why, man? What's the problem here? You know, I love Travis. I, I, I've like musically. I think Travis has been brilliant. a big supporter since the, the the beginnings. Yeah, and even through his like super commercial success, I'm I'm still with it. I think sound wise, he's just done something incredible. I am worried that this moment will be damaging in, in the in the because short it's term, too it's too pop. It's too mainstream. It's, it's too. I mean, it's McDonald's, yo. It's McDonald's. You already have a Nike deal. Nike's great. Okay, a Nike scene is cool. And they manage that 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 Nike deal nicely with the exclusive. Totally. They, you know, they're managing that nice people over there want- at Cactus Jack. But yeah, people love his stuff um, and, and go for it. I got a pair. People love it. Like, it's a real thing. McDonald's is the most commercial, the most pop thing you could do for a check. I mean, back in the day, let's be real, Ebro. I'll put it this way. If I was someone who didn't like Travis and I had issue with him, woo, I'd be going at his neck right now. This, is, I would be going at his neck. The Forgetting the we, McDonald's commercial? Yes. There was a time when we grew up that you, you went out and got a check like this, this blatantly. This this was viewed as a sellout move. Yeah, but that's, that's not the game anymore, bro. Like that's yeah, that, not the that's, that's not the game. That time mm. is over. I don't believe he, that. I don't believe it he is. He had over. he had merged to go with that McDonald's uh, situation, and it sold out quickly. To the quickly. same yo-yos who buy all of his stuff, but guess what? Those people but those don't are his matter. yo-yos. But those yeah. yo-yos are also the same people who support Kanye West or anything. Right, they but you, but who's his fan base? I'm confused. Do you think so is that, is do you think it? more people like you or Travis Scott's fan base, or are these people you just call? yo-yos it's not about it's not about me and it's not necessarily about the yo-yos either it's about the it's about the middle space all the people when his music comes on they're not obsessive fans but they mess with it they like it they enjoy him they stream his songs they're not obsessive they're not buying the sweatshirt every drop but they stream his music and does that over time do you take any sort of hit off of becoming a McDonald's poster boy. I mean, listen, it's a risk. I just don't believe we can operate in a world where it's like, oh, yeah, do a McDonald's commercial. No big deal. It's not, it's not a, it's a risk. It's for a check. Any, well, Every check has a price. There's a price attached. I don't think attached. it's going to affect them at all. Well, he, what you're talking about is is uh, captured in a famous song by Karis One and famous to the to the underground heads. It's called Out of Here. <laughs> do, do you, you ever, ever think, think about-, about when you're out of here? Bring up some out of here. We'll play this. But just so you can listen to it. But my my point is, I um, hope I'm wrong. I don't think the I don't think they think about when they out of here. I don't think they think about, uh, and I don't know if you know. Look, Travis Scott has an Astro World Festival. He, like you said, he's got a Nike deal. Uh, now he's got you know this McDonald's situation. He's got a hun- he's got hundreds of millions of dollars. So I, you know I don't know. I think what you're having is a more nuanced conversation about the music meaning more than the brand and when the brand becomes more important than the music usually in history the music suffers correct usually and and over time the way that we hear the person like when i was listening to the detroit 2 album the big sean album this weekend travis's songs came on and i love travis's music and when i heard the it's lit in the background i kept thinking like oh same ad lib as the mcdonald's commercial that will have an effect over time. Maybe not on his yo-yo super hardcore fans who buy every single thing. And and maybe it's not about people like me. But I do think over time there is a risk to that. And I hope it works out for him because I think he's great. But people do need to think about when is it when is enough when is when are the checks enough? When do you not need to say yes to every check? Ebro, you're a great person to ask about this. <laughs> you're making enough money to where you go, you know what? I'm gonna pass on this one. But I but that's my thing. And you, you don't have man? nearly as much money as Travis Scott. <laughs> and you say no. Yeah, Ebro, you want to appear on this show? Hell no. Nah, it's not good, good for my brand. It, it's not good for me. Well, I'll find it see, corny. But mine I don't want to de- do Mine's it. deeper than that. I'm socially awkward, and I don't like y'all that much. So spending a day with whatever you want me to do, <laughs> I just like being able to tell y'all no. It ain't even, you know, but that's me. But other people, like, look, Sometimes Travis. Sometimes it's good to say no. I, I, maybe, I agree. Maybe Travis thought this is fitting for him and his fans. Yeah. Maybe yeah, Travis loves like McDonald's. Didn't he rap wow. about Jamba Juice? He loves Jamba Juice. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you know, I, you know, look, Rosenberg, I see what you're going with your, your, pure, your purest hip-hop take here. 
<laughs> and I think it, I be think careful. it is. I'm just saying, be I, careful. I, I think it is. It is a valuable observation. Don't want to discredit the observation at all. But I do believe you are from a different time. I am on this one. You're from, you're from a different time, and I don't I don't know if these new rules Could they have made been the written. commercial like the Sprite joints though, where at least they had Large Professor and P Rock and CL Smooth in the studio <laughs> in black and white with their music playing. They oh, had it as a cartoon. Man. He was a cartoon jumping with a French fry. Like no, no, let's just was, I mean let's all be real. He wasn't a cartoon. He was an action figure. He was a, and, that, and by the way, he put out the rodeo figure. action figure before. Yeah, and his action figure tight. goes for a lot of money now. How much does it go for like now? It. A lot. I don't even know, but it's, a, it's in the G money. It's and I heard, short. yo, and I heard that they was tearing down the the posters or something like the posters that they put around the city were like. People were the, actually mad that there wasn't a Travis character in a Happy Meal. See, I'm mad about that. I'm gonna keep that, it. Well, that's what they should have done. Let's be they should have put that. You should have been able to go up in there and get a mini Travis action figure Facts. with the Happy Meal. Listen, there's a lot that's dope about it, and I'm here for it. I think it's a. I think there are things that are cool about it. I'm just putting out the warning. This is still hip hop. And okay, you so can't let's, get let's roasted go for being the dude who did McDonald's. I'm, so I'm gonna leave you with this. You can. It can happen. It can still happen. I'm gonna leave you with this. Did you apply the same thought to rappers that had cartoons back in the day, Ebro? How about this? The reason people don't mention Kid and Play with the same respect they should to this day is because of the cartoon. And that Kid and Play first album was... Yo, Shawnee, Kid and Play was fire. That's no one fact. talks about them the way they should That's a because fact. of legends. the cartoon. Because right. of all that pop stuff. They went too far. They, they went too far. And they made House fire. Party, yo. They made fire. They, they made, made cultural iconic fire. cultural yeah. moments. They're so legends. I'm just saying you have to be mindful. I, it, it, it's, it's dope. But the, those same kids who are all about your sneakers, blah, 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 and they buy everything, they don't dictate what's actually hot in the culture musically. They don't. They're just your fanboys. Like Kanye's fans who are good with him supporting Trump. They don't dictate anything. They're your fanboys. They may seem like they're all that matters, and in some ways they are financially. But culturally, they're irrelevant.